So, this is the problem that is given to us this graph we are supposed to find the shortest path from Arad to Bucharest. This is same as what you have done in your algorithms course given a graph what is the shortest path from one node to the other. Okay? But still we will find different ways of doing it because these techniques are much more general than what you have seen before even though you can always cast them into the same problem, but they have agent kind of properties. Right? There is an agent that is trying to solve a general problem not just a graph. So, we know how to come from here to here. Remember I was talking about fringe. Don't worry. Remember, I was talking. So we were talking about this fringe. ये tree कैसे बनाया? Why was arad at at the root of the tree? Because that is given to us that it is the starting point. So if in exam if I ask you distance from Oradia to Petisti, then the root will be Oradia. Okay. So arad is our starting uh, root node right now. Now how many successor functions from there? all those that are directly connected. So, you have that here and then similarly, so CBU is connected to 4 different cities there Timisoara is to 2, there in this 2 you can go and have a look at this graph here. Maybe take a photograph of it so that bar bar apne ke piche nahi karna pade. Okay? or if you have drawn it. Chodo. So, CBU is connected to 4, Timisoara is to you begin you have not done anything until now. Okay? So, algorithm starts you put the first node into the fringe which will, which will be that node that you put into fringe start node which is arrayed in this case. Now, what do I do? Ki, write, write down these things. Okay? What do, I mean the, even though algorithm is here. So, you see algorithm here, but I think what we will write makes more sense than this one in terms of simplicity even though you have this algorithm here. <clears throat> so, right now which node is in fringe? Arad is in fringe. All right, attend and start. So, if Arad is in fringe, what do I do next? They go, is there a case likhna ki fringe me? So, iteration 1, fringe me kya Arad. So, what are you going to expand? There is only one element, koi strategy ki zarat nahi hai. You expand that particular element. So, aap Arad ko expand, expand kar do isme. What does this expansion mean? Look out for the successor function. Ki successor function me ko kaha kaha pe le ja sakta hai. Fine. So from arad you have expanded it. Once you have expanded it, what does it mean? So let's come to next. Arad goes out of fringe. Ab aapke fringe me ye three nodes aage. What do I do next? I have CBU, Timisoara, Zerind. Which immediate problem will you face? I have more than one candidate. So, which one to expand? So, in this case, what are we saying? We are doing all these things lexicographically. Okay? So, we will expand CBU first. S, T, Z. So, this comes first. Guys, laptop slides off. Chalo. CBU. CBU me I have 4. You have to give me the next fringe. Abhi which node are you considering? CBU. CBU. So, you are expanding CBU. Once you have expanded CBU, you have to give me the elements of fringe. Arad is out of fringe. The, the moment a node is expanded, it is out of fringe. Apne data structures algorithms kaise kaam karte hain? You build a data structure, you add some things to it, but you also 
डिलीट थिंग्स फ्रॉम इट बिकॉज अदरवाइज डेटा स्ट्रक्चर कभी खत्म ही नहीं होगा तो ये एल्गोरिदम विल नेवर एंड सो अरद इज डन थ्रोन आउट ऑफ फ्रिंज आई हैव दीज थ्री थिंग्स इन माई फ्रिंज नाउ एंड राइट नाउ आई एम कंसिडरिंग सीब्यू वॉट विल बी माई फ्रिंज आफ्टर आई हैव एक्सपेंडेड सीब्यू दिस इज माई फ्रिंज बिफोर आई हैव एक्सपेंडेड सीब्यू दीज थ्री थिंग्स After I have expanded CPU, give me my fringe. So Timiswara and Zarin, they they remain there. What what else will be added? Four of them: Arad, Fagaras, Uradia, Arvi. See, ya to apy memory rakho ki Arad has come here, but right now we have not talked about any such thing. Okay. या तो आप ये बोलते रहो सी इधर यू कीप अ मोर सोफेस्टिकेटेड डेटा स्ट्रक्चर टू फिगर आउट की दिस वाज डन बिफोर आई डोंट वांट टू डू इट बट वी आर नॉट डूइंग दैट राइट नाउ विल डू दैट लेटर ओके सो माय फ्रिंज नाउ इज हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स सिक्स एलिमेंट्स अरट फगरास और आदिया आरवी तिमेश्वरा जरिंद ओके this is what we have now which one do i expand next so if anybody says timisuara are they wrong anybody says zarind are they wrong are we or are anything is wrong here no right so then it depends on what strategy are you deploying in this case are you following in this case so if you say we are going to expand this again right dekho repeat ho raha hai but i have a limitation of my strategy either you add this thing in your strategy that i don't have to repeat and so on but we are not making our life that complicated right now so i have to expand one of these you have to so your fringe does not come alone your fringe is a data structure it can be a queue it can be a stack it can be priority queue it can be array whatever you want to keep but you also have to follow a strategy ki aap isko khali kaise kar rahe ho okay which element are you considering of course sometimes it is dictated by the data structure itself agar aap queue mein laga rahe ho to you don't have a choice but you have to uh, dq from where you can and so on so that's why we will use priority queue and not these two eventually okay all right so this is the same thing that we have done right you have to start with the tree search you are given a problem a strategy returns a solution or a failure initialize the search tree using initial state in a loop do if there are no candidates for expansion then you are done choose a leaf node for expansion to strategy whichever strategy you are choosing um, bfs a dfs a we'll see if the node contains a goal state then you are done else keep on expanding until you reach to the goal this is what we have done before here okay now tell me so there are some issues with this what are the issues arad if you expand it then most likely you are going to follow the same path and you will never reach there so we have to make things much more robust so important ideas ideas here are fringe janta bahut confused hoti hai isme what is a fringe so what is a fringe a simple data structure so fringe is just a data structure can be queue stack priority queue whatever you want it to be what is this expansion expansion is the fact that you take an element right look for the successors remove this guy from the fringe and add all those successor to the fringe this is the operation of your expansion exploration strategy अब एक बार वापस इधर आओ नाउ लेट से इफ यू एनफोर्स दैट वी आर फॉलोइंग बी एफ एस 
if you are following BFS, what will you expend after CBU? If you are expending using BFS, then you must explore Timisoara. You will get this layer, you will get this layer. Okay? And then what will happen? And so on. Okay? So now if you expand arid here, what elements will you get? CBU, Timisoara, Zerinth. So, so, whatever they are, okay? whatever they are, Oradia, whatever they are, here we saw there was a path to, uh, I think, Petisti, yes, right. So, Petisti will come somewhere here, right. So, ab, if you are following BFS, aap is arad ko follow karte jaoge ki all elements here jo honge, wo sab aapki fringe mein a jayenge. Once you have expanded all these guys at this level, ये सब आपके फ्रिंज में आ गए फिर फ्रिंज में यहां पे आके कहीं पे पेतिस्ती होगा फगरास्त वाज डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड टू बुचरेस्ट तो यहां पे कहीं पे अपने गोल स्टेट भी है एंड यहां पे पी है एंड देन इस नेक्स्ट लेवल पे कहीं पे जाके वी हैव अ गोल स्टेट सो बिकॉज वी आर फॉलोइंग बीएफएस we are not letting, otherwise this would have been an infinite loop, arad, cbu, arad and this will just keep on doing this. Okay? So expand out potential plants, tree nodes, maintain a fringe of partial plants under consideration, try to expand as few tree nodes as possible. This is a big question in front of us, how do we do that? Okay? Any questions in this, how do we do this? नहीं समझ में आया तो मिड सेम का कोई ना कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं कर पाओगे हाँ यस वी वी हैव नो चॉइस राइट नाउ सो अरद इज देयर व्हेन यू एक्सपेंडेड अरद सीबीयू तिमिस्वारा जरिन विल बी हियर अगेन बट राइट नाउ द वे वी आर ट्रीटिंग थिंग्स राइट नाउ आई एम नॉट एक्सक्लूडिंग दैट पॉसिबिलिटी So, CBU right now, right, <laughs> Nein, this we won't consider once after expanding CBU, you have expanded these two, you have expanded these two, this guy goes away, then comes Zerind. So, if you have just expanded this one, what is my fringe? ये चारों एंड जरिन राइट नॉट दिस जब मैंने इसको कर दिया है अभी एक्सपेंड देन आई हैव दिस कंप्लीट लेवल ओके फ्रिंज इज माय राइट नाउ आई एम अज्यूमिंग इट्स माय इनफाइनाइट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर मर्जी है जितना रखते जाओ ओके बट इनफाइनाइट डोंट डोंट नीड इनफाइनाइट वी जस्ट नीड हां अभी छह हैं किस केस में छह हैं स्लाइड में छह हैं बिकॉज यू हैव एक्सपेंडेड अरद उसके बाद में एक्सपेंड किया सीबीयू ओनली दीज टू नोट्स आर एक्सपेंडेड यू हैव दीज फोर फाइव सिक्स इन फ्रिंज आई वॉन्ट एवरीबडी विथ टू बी ओके विद दिस बिकॉज इफ ये नहीं समझ में आया आगे स्ट्रेटेजीज विल ओनली गेट मोर कॉम्प्लीकेटेड स्लाइड्स यू हैव स्लाइड्स आई सेंड इट टू यू So, can you quickly tell me whether this BFS strategy is good or bad? Very good. No, without comparing it to anything else. See, this, I mean, trees explode exponentially, right? So, if you have, if it's a binary tree, how many nodes will be there on hth height if it's a complete binary tree if i have a complete binary tree how many nodes will i have on layer l if it's a complete binary tree 2 to the power h so l in vertical direction but you have exponentially many nodes in the height of the tree 
so trees they explode exponentially and this is going to be a complete tree because for everyone you will have at least two nodes popping up there are more but at least two okay so you will quickly so this thing explode exponentially so your fringe is increasing exponentially good or bad as a computer scientist we don't like this word exponential because it only increases it hardly helps us okay very few times you will see we get an exponential speed up most of the times you will only see we get a things are worsening exponentially okay any question in this slide i am willing to spend more time here all right so fringe is the data structure that you are maintaining expansion is the what is expansion take out of that fringe explore and add it to the fringe again exploration strategy whether you are using bfs dfs or something else as we will see in the rest of the lectures so now main question basically is this which fringe nodes to explore putting things in fringe is an easy thing you explore something whosoever are the successors put them into fringe problem is which node to expand given a fringe which node to expand okay so let's do that ek baar dhang se dekhna start state okay so s kya ho gaya abhi dekho let's start from this beginning apan kya kar rahe hain abhi isme tree search tree search means fringe will come into picture strategy will come into picture and expansion will come into picture expansion is the easiest of these three things we start here have we started the algorithm right now no so what is my fringe s is my fringe okay now i have expanded s once you have expanded s d e and p are there so my fringe is now s is gone or my fringe is this okay next what you, you can draw it as well i mean i am going to go so slow from here you can expand i would like to do that but kaise karoge computer science mein parallel batao either you have lot of parallel processing in that case it becomes a parallel algorithm so that will bring its own problems because you will have to communicate you will have to tell the other thread that see i have expanded e you don't expand so again complexities will come of course you can expand this but we don't go there initially s was in my fringe i expanded s i got d e p and now my question is which one to expand firstly you have to get this clear in your mind there is nothing inherently wrong to say i can expand anything but the moment you can expand anything you get into a mess okay, how to manage that mess will become a problem right so we are looking to manage this mess we expand d so you have expanded d b c what will change here tell me so s to d will be crossed off and you will have right everybody is okay with this until now if you are okay with this until now you follow the whole thing so right now my fringe is containing how many elements five okay these five or these five next batao next right you are right but you will have to ask this question which strategy are we following if we were if we were doing dfs then right so let's see what happens later so acha nahi we were here right so yahan se we go here 
so they say they expand this which data structure is being used no 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 i can't associate it to stack because else ye hona chahiye tha pehle right so let us see so it seems right now they are not following any strategy per se because see, is it is it alphabetical no okay so let us just expand e yahan pe this one to aur d jo jab humne extend kara tab bhi ye aaya right directly wahan se matlab node to dono common hi hai right to apne ko s se matlab back track karke fir wapas e pe jaake ye jab directly se ja sakte hai true but none of it is there in the algorithm that we have seen then we will come to back tracking we will do all these optimization jo aap log abhi suggest karoge right but right now we are doing plain okay so let us just go with this e once i have this e what will be there in my fringe right so i think i don't need to repeat this process now you can just no i think what is happening here is that they are trying to get to g okay since we know this beforehand how to get to g so they are just trying to get to g no bfs no dfs nothing okay because else aap socho ye this list will be huge okay right and then ye ek sath baki sare kar diye right so they were doing this because you just look at this you just look at those and you said ki ye wala rasta sabse chhota hai we'll take this one but this is not how you will expand they are just telling what is expansion what is a fringe and it depends on the strategy okay if anybody says s after expanding s i have dep after expanding d i get bce you need to attach a system how we are going to expand there is no system attached to it right now questions here aisa question mid sem mein aa raha hai right so you must know how to dekho algorithms ke sath ek cheez hai जिस समय अपन पढ़ रहे हैं एक तो वो दिमाग खर्च करता है एल्गोरदम की क्लास आप लगातार दो घंटे ले लो तीसरे घंटे में कुछ नहीं दिमाग में जाएगा मेरे तो नहीं जाता आप लोगों का नहीं पता सेकंड चीज उस समय सब समझ में आ जाएगा कि कैसे किया था यू आस्क वन आर लेटर एंड वी कांट रन दैट अगेन सो जब तक पेन से पेपर पे नहीं चलाओगे राइट इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट अभी समझ में आ जाएगा एग्जाम में रिप्लीकेट नहीं कर पाओगे all right so now we are talking about the different strategies that we can follow until here there was no strategy followed <coughs> right okay ye because of these cartoons jo inhone banaya na I can hardly find a good AI course जिन्होंने इस स्लाइड से अडेप्ट नहीं किया हो ऑल राइट सो एक्सपेंड द डीपेस्ट सो नाउ वी आर डेप्ट फर्स्ट सर्च राइट एंड आप जो क्लेम कर रहे हो कि यू फॉलोड एवरीथिंग दिस थिंग शुड बी ट्रिवियल टू यू नाउ सो हाउ डू वी स्टार्ट एस सो अभी फ्रिंज में क्या है एस यू एक्सपेंड एस D, what do I do now? What do I do now? Then, 
no 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 ek second ek second ek second who said backtrack are we doing backtrack right now dekho backtrack with dfs is a different thing abhi you don't have anything okay abhi dfs will take you here this is not backtracking aap yahan pe aaye yahan pe gaye this is not backtracking but that's not how you define backtrack in algorithms from i mean you may call it backtracking english backtracking but we are talking about an algorithm so there is a different strategy called dfs with backtracking okay so this is right now plain dfs okay so c pe the and then and you keep on doing this okay sorry no they have reached their goal they have stopped so tell me in which case this won't work or when is the worst case so which is the worst case if i use dfs if i have extreme right then that will be the worst case okay so if the cost of everything was equal is dfs taking me to the right goal no okay yeah अभी एक साथ बहुत ज्यादा आगे चला गया बट ठीक है राइट हाँ मुश्किल से तो आ गया है हूं तुम बोल रहे हो हाँ पहले तो नॉट मी आगे no in this case we did not do direct right in this case we followed a complete dfs strategy s a d pe then d to b then a then c then a then e then h and this is how we did it you are marking this line because this is taking you to the goal this is what you were searching for so you have this whole big tree some of these states are called goal state you have you can have one or more than one and you are searching for these let's start from the beginning dekho pehle ye hua tha right you did not go to g directly f se c pe then a then next natural node was g for dfs right so it just happen it just happened to be there and would dfs ke raste mein aa gaya okay more questions here kya cheez that is the precise meaning of solving a problem you don't know things beforehand see you don't know where is my g that is why you are exploring and searching यही क्वेश्चन था कुछ और था हाँ सी इफ यू इफ यू सी हियर वी हैव नॉट डिफाइंड दिस नोशन ऑफ नोशन ऑफ शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ येट बिकॉज दे हैव नेवर सेड कि ऑल एजेस आर इक्विवेलेंट दे हैव नॉट टोल्ड मी व्हाट इज दी वेट so so right now we are just trying to understand what might be the strategies right now if this were the goal probably they will give me weights where weights will be such that they are lesser than the sum of this okay more questions here
So, is is DFS guaranteed to find a solution if one exists? Optimal word kahi nahi likha hua, apne man se kya laro? Agar? Good point. So, assume there are no cycles. Right? Eventually, because it is going to explore the whole thing, so eventually it will find a goal. So, if you if an algorithm is guaranteed to find a solution if one exists, then it is complete. So, what do you, what is this property of completeness in this context, in our courses context? In fact, not our course context, but just in this search context, we will see complete again in, in a different context. Guaranteed to find a solution if one exists. So, if I ask you a question in exam, prove that DFS is both complete and optimal. So, you are supposed to prove that if there exists a goal, then DFS is guaranteed to find it. Optimal, <coughs> guaranteed to find the least cost path. Sorry? No, that is the question asked. So, is DFS complete? Yes. Yes. Is DFS optimal? No. No. Okay. What will it give me? Which goal will it give me? No. Which goal will DFS give me if there are multiple goals? First from the left hand side. If you are following that strategy, if you are following right uh, strategy from right, then it will give me the first one from the right. So, whichever direction you are traversing, it is going to give me the first goal from that direction. Questions here? Hmm? Hmm. Guaranteed to find the least cost path? No. Time complexity? Space complexity? Ah, space complexity. Space complexity. So, now you start from the node root node assume the branching factor is B. What is branching factor B by the way? So, B will be the minimum or maximum. In my whole graph I have uh, 5 branchings 2, 5, 8, 17. What is B? B must be the maximum one 70. Okay. So, B is my branching because that gives you the upper bound you are okay with that you are not okay with the lower bound which might be wrong. So, how many nodes will be there on the first level if we call this 0th level first level pay you have B nodes in your fringe next level pay you will have B square nodes in your fringe at mth level you have B to the M nodes okay? and I mean okay, by fringe I mean if you are following BFS. So, my bad we are not following BFS right now. M is the maximum depth solution at various depth. So, solution can be anywhere there it does not have to be at depth M. The total number of nodes in the entire tree is how much? This is easy. 1 plus b to the 1 plus b square plus b cube and all the way until b to the 
m but why is this is this right Huh? What is this thing on left hand side? GP? GP ka sum karo ek bar. A? माइनस वन कर दियो वो एम तो साइड में अकेला ही बैठा हुआ है हाँ एम माइनस वन बोल रहे हो आप बी टू दी पावर एम माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय गाइस व्हाट यू आर गिविंग मी इज तब व्हेन योर बी इज लेस देन वन इन दैट केस यू गेट 1 minus r kind of thing a upon 1 minus r minus 1 if your branching factor is more than 1 then you have the different formula right so in gp there are two formulas one is a upon 1 minus r in that case your r is less than 1 but if r is greater than 1 then r to the power m plus 1 aata hai right so this is actually order r to the power b m plus 1 but this is already such a big number that we don't care we call that m plus 1 same as m but actually this is, this should have been m plus 1 but exponential anyway so doesn't matter so this is fine is this fine b to the m yes. what is the time complexity what is the time complexity of dfs number of roots there is only one root b is the branching factor branching factor means how many children can one node have that's what it means right so by at any given node guys this branching factor means the maximum number of children one node can have now give me the time complexity for bfs order of bm b into m Kyo? Achha, let me help you more if it takes you one time unit to search in one node what will be the time complexity now b to the power m by there are b to the power m nodes so aapki complexity b to the power m se kam to nahi ho rahi hai na you have n array i mean you have an array of size n what is the search complexity you have an array of size n what is the complexity to search an element order of n how many nodes are here b to the m what will the time complexity b to the power m because in the worst case this might be your goal so time complexity to search in 
this big tree is order b to the power n. Now this is DFS. So we have done this. What about this one? थोड़ा सा दूर हो साइज ऑफ करंट फ्रिंज दैट्स अ गुड आंसर बट व्हाट इज दैट See that again. What did you say? Height of the tree. That means m. Okay. So I have one answer. Order m. Anyone else? Tell me, how many nodes will be there in fringe here? One. In this case, b. What about at the second level? All these b square will be in fringe. See now, now you will see the difference between. I mean, you will see these. You will appreciate these details now. This node, if I expand it, my fringe becomes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And why do I need to do this? Because the moment I'll send it out of my data structure, I'll lose track of who are the successors to these guys. So I need to put all these guys in my. fringe next what will happen at the next level this first node the moment you expand the first node that first node is out how many enter b more and you already had b minus 1 go to next level what will happen b from here will come b from actually b minus 1 okay but let me call that b b minus 1 will come from here and then again you have a b thing here now give me see at every level you will have something like b minus 1 of the order of b okay question is from every level what is the no i won't say more you just tell me this is my third level okay tell me how many number of nodes will i have from this level in fringe at any given moment अच्छा एक बात बताओ कैन आई गो टू सो दिस वेर इज दिस पार्ट कमिंग फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट नोट हियर ये फर्स्ट नोट के चिल्ड्रन है ऑल राइट विल आई गो एंड एक्सपेंड दिस सेकेंड नोट चिल्ड्रन बिफोर एग्जॉस्टिंग ऑल दिस दैट मीन्स आई वोंट हैव मोर देन बी एट एनी लेवल एक्चुअली बी माइनस वन right so this is m into b you have m levels nowhere you can have more than order of b so maximum of course we are saying big o so big o of b into m right 
right right right so so i'm I, i'm okay <laughs> Is it complete? Is it complete? Like you said, if you do not have cycles, if you do not have cycles, DFS is complete. Where is attendance sheet? Attendance sheet kaha pe? All done? Okay. If you do not have cycles, then, then, DFS is complete. Is it optimal? Is it optimal? Why not? Because this is going to give you the first goal encountered in the path. Okay. And leftmost is in quotes because if you start from left, if you start from right or if you follow any other strategy then in that path. Alright, so I think this is a good point to stop. Questions?